In this training video, we will be demonstrating how to use public stuff, which will be replacing call tracker in the near future. First, we will start off with a brief overview of the whole application. Then we will go through some how-tos of entering a request, reassigning a request to another team member, filtering requests, and running report using the reports tab. This is the city of Pleasant Valley. This is Carl. Carl lives in Pleasant Valley. This is Emily. Emily works in the city government. Like any town, Pleasant Valley has a few potholes, street lights that need replacing, signs that need to be repaired, and there have been some noise complaints on Park Street. And, well, you get the picture. Luckily, Pleasant Valley made a smart decision. They signed up with Public Stuff. And thanks to Public Stuff, Someone like Carl can quickly get in touch with the right people in government to solve these problems. So, all Carl has to do is log on to publicstuff.com, find his city, and submit a new request. The Public Stuff mobile app will auto-locate your request, and you can attach a photo. Pleasant Valley also imported all of their existing back-end and important GPS data into their brand new city page. The best part is that Carl can receive status updates and support other requests. Government agencies can post updates about fixes, respond to questions, and provide feedback. Everything stays nice and transparent. Well, the data, not you, Carl. Thanks to public stuff, Carl is working with his neighbors and local government to help build a better community. Great job, Carl. It's never been easier for the government and Carl to work together. Find your city today at publicstuff.com. Any staff person with a Public Stuff Pro login can add a request using the Add Request button. First, choose the appropriate request type for the issue the resident is reporting. Next, fill in the address of the request. The system will automatically check for nearby open duplicate requests. This will help you see whether someone has already reported the same issue. If there is no duplicate found, continue adding the request. Add any additional information into the description box, such as details of the location, specifics of the issue, or other relevant information. You can record the resident's contact information here. If the caller provides an email address, it will automatically subscribe them to service updates for this request. If the resident has created an account, their details will appear beneath these boxes and just click on the name and contact information to populate those fields. Note that if the resident does not want to receive updates, do not record their email address here. If provided, you can also upload a photo in the lower right beneath the map. Before submitting the request, you can set a priority level of low, medium, or high. This priority level is not visible to residents. If a request does not have a default due date, you can add a due date. Residents will not see the due date, but assigned staff can receive notifications when requests are overdue. If the request contains private or sensitive information, mark that request private. This means that staff will be able to view the details, but the general public will not. When you've completed the required information, click the blue button, Create a Request. The first assignee in the workflow will receive an email notification saying that the new request has been assigned to them. A confirmation message will appear on a green bar beneath Create a New Request. You can share the request ID with the resident or click here to view the request details. The form is now ready for entry for the next request. transfer a request, you must open it and edit the workflow. You will want to add a step and choose the person that you want to assign the call to.
After clicking update step, you want to click complete on your step so that the workflow continues. To add comments, open the comments tab and enter any text you would like. You can change a comment so that it can be viewed internally or externally. Next, go back to the main tab and click update the request. When you log in to Public Stuff Pro, you will be in the dashboard view. Open requests that are currently assigned to you will be listed here. When a new request is assigned to you, you will also receive an email notification. For example, when a resident submits a request, both the resident and the assigned staff user receive an email notification that the request has been submitted. The request will also be added as a new request under Assigned to Me. Note that all requests with the status of Submitted will also be marked as New. From here, you can click on any assigned request to go into the request details. Note that you can access lists of all requests here. View requests on a map here and view reports here. The account settings icon here allows you to adjust your personal settings. Let's go take a look at all of the requests in the system by clicking on requests. This is going to show us a list of all of the requests that are currently open, whether or not they are assigned to us. So here we can see the requests that are assigned to us as well as to other staff, and we can see their status. We can filter these requests if we want to see requests by department, by a specific request type, bicycle safety for instance. We can look to see ones that are assigned to particular staff, if they're open, or maybe we want to see all requests, and we can apply this filter. We can also save this filter if this is something we want to see repeatedly. Click on Save and give it a name. And this filter now will appear here. This is important because if we change our view, for instance, to Maps, We'll be able to use this filter here as well. And now we can see all of our bike safety issues on this map. We can get aggregate information in reporting. Clicking on overview is going to give us a synopsis of what's happened over a specific time period, in this case the last 30 days. Our filters also work here. And in the overview, we'll be able to see some overview statistics, as well as a breakdown by department and service request types.